in this lecture we are going to create a pot file for our plugin so that it can uh, translators can use this pot file to generate translations for a specific language to ease up this process we have been using this double underscore functions to make the strings translatable right now if i go to our plugin and go to this languages directory there is a pot file that is automatically generated by the boilerplate and if we open up this file this file is blank if you remember we have been making the strings translatable so if we go to this admin class admin directory and inside this admin class and we search for where we are defining this page title for instance we have been using this settings helper class to create our uh, options page for our plugin and we have been using this double underscore functions to make these strings translatable we as a plugin developer it has the responsibility to update this pot file that is this is a pot template file to update this file with these strings there are a, a, primarily two methods to do this one is to use po edit uh, it is a software that is available for windows mac and other platforms as well and if you scroll down and where it says that it can translate wordpress with ease but it is a pro feature if you have a pro feature of PO added, you can simply use this pro feature to just up, uh, give it a path to your plugin and it will uh, create this POT file automatically. But uh, since we are not using its pro version, uh, there is a, another way of doing it and that is by using local, local translate plugin. This plugin makes it easy for us to create this POT file. And once this pot file is created then we can either use this lo local translate to generate other translatable files or then we can use this pot edit software in this lecture i am going to uh, use this local translate to uh, create our pot file and then i am going to use this po edit uh, to create some translations for our wordpress plugin that we have developed so first let's install this local translate and go to the plugins okay now we install this plugin once installed let's activate it once this plugin is activated uh, there is a new menu item available and if we click on it these are all the running plugins uh, that are uh, translatable so if we just click on this uh, plugin rocket books it is giving us a message that no translations are found for rocket books now let's click on edit template and it is uh, just giving us a warning and i'm just going to click the sync button and when i click on sync it has got one or three new strings that are added into the pot file so these are all the settings or uh, strings that we have been using during the plugin development uh, with a double underscores function so if i just click on save it is giving us a message that pot file is saved now let's get back and it has auto loaded our pot file and this pot file is auto generated now it also give uh, it is also giving us uh, these line numbers where this uh, string is uh, added so for now uh, in this line 234 and if i click on 234 this is the string that is used to uh, create this pot entry and that's all we need to do as a plugin developer to create this pot uh, file our job as a plugin developer is done since we only need to create this pot file and update this and this pot file can be used by any translator to create translatable strings now let's do an experiment and try to create a PO file uh, for uh, any language for instance uh, let's use French for now and we shall be using French to create a PO and MO file that is that are actually the translatable strings files let me just show you then you will be in a better position to understand so first let's uh, download this PO uh, editor PO edit software for Windows it is downloaded let's click on and i'm just going to install it
and that's it it's almost done let's open up this po edit software and now i need to create a new translation and now we need to give it a path to our pot file so let's get the path and copy path just paste it over here select the pot file and click open now it is just asking like which language of uh, uh, translation we need to add. There is one very important thing that you need to remember. For creating any PO file for our plugin, you need to prefix it with the plugin name. So in our case, we need to prefix it with rocket-books. It is required. After that, now it comes the translate uh, translation part, translation code part. And uh, the best thing is that uh, let's go and uh, seek help from WordPress to give us the translation code. So if we just go to the settings in general. And right now there is one site language that is English installed. Uh, let's just use French for the experiment. And save. I don't know French by the way. Now our site language is updated and if we go to the front end, all these uh, translation uh, strings are updated where the translation is available. But we, since we need to get the uh, translation code first, so just view page source. And right over here, lang. This is the thing that we need to copy. So let's just copy this and get back. After that, paste it like this and uh, replace this dash between these two translation codes, replace it with underscore and that's it. So this is the file name that you will shall be creating. So let's just copy it and for now, let's just click on uh, select the French from the list. So let's just, uh, okay. So it is created now, we need to save as like this let's just save it and file compile to mo it is also uh, doing the same mo and po files in the same languages folder where our pot file is uh, available so let's just save it uh, override it and now let's uh, update some of the strings for instance let's just use this rocket book settings and try to translate it to French so Google Translate because I don't know the task okay open in Google Translate and uh, we need to click on French and from English right and now let's get its text and paste it right over here and just copy this part and paste it over here in the translations. Similarly, let's uh, do one more translation and paste it over here and let's just copy this. Paste it like this and save it. Looks good. Further compile to MO. Make sure that it is compiling fine. Now we have our French available to us. Now let's just, if we go back to our dashboard and uh, let's go to our settings page and it, these two things are updated you see the section general and rocket book settings page now if we uh, change this advanced sections for instance uh, let's just copy this text and update its translation save now if we get back try to reload and now it is loading our french translation so wherever french translation is available it is loading that french translation and if it is not available it is just defaulting to the default string that we have added so this is how uh, we can add as many translation for our plugin as we want and uh, the person who want to translate our plugin We'll follow the step of uh, creating this POT, downloading this PO edit and also 
updating our translation by naming this uh, according to our plugin so if we just try to get back and try to re change this settings let's get back and try to go to english and update settings now if we go to our settings page it is loading just fine so now you understand the benefit of going all this trouble and creating uh, every string translatable so this is the benefit and this is how you empower translators to translate your plugin according to the language they need the only catch in this process that is that you need to name your plugin mopo files according to your plugin and always prefix it with your plugin name and then the language code so next time you create your plugin and need to add any string always use this double underscores or its counterpart like uh, underscore e for echoing a translatable string good luck for creating international plugins